16-year-old David Chesney went to donate blood with his father, but was turned away for having a low blood count and thought to be anemic. Anemic, it just didn't sit right, but I didn't go into panic mode or anything. I said, well, what would they say? And they said, well, change your diet, do a couple things, and try again in a month. In the coming weeks, David developed headaches and began to feel dizzy. So his parents took him to the doctor where they did some blood work, and he was referred to a hematologist. We sat down and all of a sudden I see the door open and here in walks the two hematologists from the morning appointment and I thought, oh. he's sick. David had bone marrow cancer. David's only choice of treatment was a bone marrow transplant and that it was a possible cure. With his family only being half matches, they widened the search to the National Registry. Nobody, no donor for David. I said, we are gonna stay strong, we're gonna stay positive, and we're gonna keep moving forward. Mary took action, working closely with the American Red Cross and DKMS Americas to organize a bone marrow registration and blood drive at the Pettit. In three and a half weeks, we put this together. We got a name, a logo, t-shirts, our wristbands. I got to as many media sources as I could for help to get the word out. The Red Cross really stepped up to the plate to help us out, especially on short notice. All they needed was a place and a time. They set up, they did their job, all of those that were eligible got swabbed to be on the bone marrow registry. Over 550 people were added to the National Bone Marrow Registry. I didn't expect the donor to walk through the door, but I thought somebody else in the world is doing the same thing that we're doing and we'll help another family and somebody will help ours. David's disease was starting to progress, so doctors were going to proceed with Mary as the donor, except her annual mammogram revealed she had breast cancer. Now they're looking for a donor again, fast, you know, furiously. Finally, in December, some good news. They said, we found a donor. After a long fight, David finally went into remission thanks to his donor, Ben Walker from Florida, who came to meet David and see him graduate high school. David went to save lives, and he ended up saving his own life. Mary and her family continue to organize drives in hopes to help more families have a happy ending like theirs. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, our community safety, security, and resiliency hero, Mary Okowitz-Chesney.